The following video will introduce you to the concept of reliability based optimization. Practical implementation of design optimization includes inputs and responses with uncertainties. Visual Doc has the capability to consider these uncertainties using several available probability distributions through probabilistic analysis component. The probabilistic analysis component makes an assumption that the probability distribution for uncertain inputs is known and the uncertainty information of responses is computed based on the uncertainty information of inputs. Visual Doc has two approaches for estimating uncertainties in the responses. One is simulation method and another is approximation methods. Simulation methods include Monte Carlo simulation and Latin hypercube simulation. Approximation methods include mean value approximation method. In this video, I will demonstrate a simple reliability based optimization example to achieve a desired level of reliability for a spring design. As probabilistic optimization is usually built upon a baseline design which could be optimum results of conventional deterministic optimization. First, I will set up the conventional deterministic optimization problem. Then I will formulate and perform reliability based optimization. The focus of the reliability based optimization is to find an optimum design while satisfying the constraints on the minimum reliability or maximum probability of failure. Finally, I will compare the results obtained. Here, design objective is to minimize the mass of the spring, satisfying the constraints on deflection, shear stress, surge frequency and outside diameter of the spring. Note that all the constraints are normalized. Constraints on design variables are wire diameter and coil diameter should be greater than or equal to 0.05 inches and the number of coils should be greater than or equal to 1. Now I will set up the deterministic optimization problem. Open the visual doc, create a new project. I am saving the visual doc model in the same location where I have saved the input, output and analysis files. The input file is an ASCII text file which contains input values. The output file is an ASCII text file which contains output values. The analysis file is an executable file which is used to evaluate responses. Now the next step is to create workflow from component palette add optimization component. Next add executable wrapper component inside optimization component. Now add a stop block. Select flowchart components in the model tree panel and click on auto connect all models icon. This would connect all the components based on their order in the model tree. Now click on automatically rearrange all models icon. Now I will rename the executable wrapper component. Now the next step is to set up spring analysis component. Go to component editor tab. Select spring analysis component in the model tree panel. Enter the input design variables and responses in the middle panel. Enter the initial values for design variables. Select output in input output column for mass, deflection, shear stress, surge frequency and the outer diameter of the spring. Now in the panel on the right, make sure that for run location, analysis runs locally radio button is selected. For analysis working directory, make sure that use the model directory option is selected for directory part type. For local analysis program definition, select absolute for file part type. Now click on file icon and select your executable file. For input and output file definition, make sure that relative to analysis working directory is selected for file part type. As I have saved the input and output files in the same location where I have saved the visual doc model. Now for input file definition, click on the file icon 
and select your input file. Similarly, for output file definition, select your output file. Now push the test button in order to ensure the interaction between Visual Doc and Analysis Program. As you can see, there is a warning message. Go to Warning Messages tab. You can ignore this warning as we do not need any analysis arguments. After successful execution, you will be able to see the computed values in the middle panel. Now the next step is to create data transfer needed for the optimization component. Go to Data Linker tab. Select Optimization in the Model Tree panel. Select Optimization in the middle panel. Make sure that Auto Link checkbox is selected. Now click on Automatically Add Data to Selected Model icon. This will add the corresponding links for the data transfer between the analysis and the optimization. Now we will set up the optimization component. Go to Component Editor tab. Select Optimization in the Model Tree panel. By default, inputs to analysis are defined as variables and outputs are defined as constraints. Now for the data mass, select the checkbox under Objective column. Deselect the checkbox under Constraint column. Make sure that Minimize option is selected in the Goal column. For input design variables and responses, enter lower and upper bounds. For this problem, I will be using modified method of feasible direction, which is default gradient based optimization method in Visual Doc. Now I will create two simulation monitors to monitor the best objective and values of three design variables during the optimization process. Go to Simulation Monitors tab. Add two optimization history monitors. Now add two more samples to the second optimization history monitor so that we can plot two more set of data on the same monitor. Now click on Expand Hierarchy icon below the Flowchart Components panel as well as List of Monitors panel. Drag the best objective under Simulation Parameters and drop it on the X1 axis of the first monitor. For second monitor, drag the design variable DW under Optimization and drop it on the X1 axis of the sample 1. To activate the Define Monitors, click on Enable All Monitors icon. Now click on Validate icon. Our complete model is valid. Now click on Run icon. To view the Define Monitors, click on View Monitors tab. The total number of iterations are 5. To view the optimum results, go to Component Editor tab. The table displayed in the middle panel has the optimum values in the optimum column. The optimum value for the mass is 0 0.012. Now I will set up the reliability based optimization problem for the same spring design. Here the objective is to minimize the mass of the spring satisfying the constraints on the random responses. The additional reliability constraints for deflection, shear stress, surge frequency and the outside diameter of the spring are the probability of failure which should be less than or equal to 0.05. Now go to Workflow tab. Add probabilistic component inside optimization component. Now right click on Spring Analysis component and select Cut. Now paste the Spring Analysis component inside Probabilistic component. Now click on Flowchart components in Model Tree panel and click on Auto Connect All Models icon. Now click on Automatically Rearrange All Models icon. 
Now we will create the data needed for the probability analysis component. Go to data linker tab. Select probability analysis in the model tree panel and in the middle panel. Make sure that auto link checkbox is selected. Now click on automatically add data to selected model icon. Now the next step is to set up probability analysis component. Go to component editor tab. Select probability analysis in the model tree panel. For data DW, DC and N, select the checkbox under random column. Now enter the probabilistic input data according to the table given in the slide. The optimum solution from deterministic optimization becomes the mean value of the random input parameters. Now enter the bounds for the responses. In the panel on the right, for probabilistic analysis method, make sure that mean value approximation method is selected. Under approximation perturbation, make sure that use design points from driver component is selected. If any parent component of probability analysis component, in this case optimization component, generates a finite difference sample to compute gradients, then the same sample can be used by the probability analysis component. This will reduce the computational cost of performing probabilistic analysis since the generated points are reused. Now the next step is to create data transfer needed for the optimization component. Go to data linker tab. Select optimization in model tree panel. Select optimization in the middle panel. Make sure that auto link checkbox is selected. Now click on automatically add data to selected model icon. As you can see that there are no responses linked from the probability analysis to the optimization. Now we will add and link the responses from the probability analysis to the optimization. Make sure that toggle button is selected in the left linking tree, otherwise visual doc will not show any parameters. Now click on expand hierarchy icon below the left linking tree. Now from the data related parameters of the probability analysis, drag and drop the data to optimization on the right to add mean values and probability of failures. Next, we will set up the optimization component. Go to component editor tab. Select optimization in the model tree panel. For the input variables, enter initial values and bounds. Now for the data mean mass, select the checkbox under objective column and deselect the checkbox under constraint column. As this data is objective, make sure that minimize option is selected in the goal column. Now enter the bounds for the constraints. Now in the panel on the right for gradient calculation, select central difference. The optimization method will use central finite difference calculations to obtain a numeric estimation of the required gradients. This method gives more accurate gradient information but at high computation cost. Now I will create two simulation monitors to monitor the best objective and values of three design variables during optimization. Now click on validate icon. Now click on run icon.
the total number of iterations are 4. The optimum value for the mass is 0 0.01 at pounds. Now I will compare the results obtained from the deterministic and reliability based optimization. The table displays the optimum values of wire diameter, coil diameter, number of coils and the mass of the spring in both the cases. Due to the consideration of reliability constraints and randomness, the mass of the spring is more in the reliability based optimum design. Also, the values of design variables are more in the reliability based optimization. This completes the demo. I hope that it has helped you to get familiar with reliability based optimization. If you would like to learn more, I invite you to check other videos about Visual Doc. For more information, please visit our website at www.vrand.com or email us at visualdoc.support at vrand.com. Thanks for watching.